In a speech hours earlier, President Barack Obama made clear that the U.S. does not spy on people who don't threaten the national security. And earlier, we talked to our correspondent Daniel Ranges in Washington. He told us Obama's words may be insufficient to assure the world over the breach of U.S. surveillance programs. There are multiple ways in which the American uh, intelligence organizations have been able to access the emails, text messages we learned today, uh, the contacts in emails, uh, and many of the phone records, the metadata. And I think it will be, require a lot more reassurance than just a few words from the president for people around the world to feel that that data is not being misused. But the president has made clear that there are specific reasons that they would dip into that data, including uh, counterintelligence, counterterrorism, counterproliferation, cybersecurity, force protection of our troops and allies, and combating transnational crime, including sanctions evasion. Uh, the U.S. also says that signals intelligence for legitimate national security purposes, not for the purpose of indiscriminately reviewing the emails or phone calls of ordinary people. Now the definition of ordinary people is open to question. So that again brings us back to the generalizations that we have in this statement, in this speech, and in the commitments that have been made today here in Washington.